Hello everyone, my name is Mark and I like to make music. If you've watched my channel before, you know I usually arrange music for a cappella groups and for handbell choirs. I've been doing that for a while and I will, and I will keep doing that. Um, but I decided to try something different. Um, I'll be re reacting to music videos as well. Um, we'll see if you like it and if I want to keep doing it, but I'll be trying it for a little while. Um, I'll be re recording a few videos at the same time and I'll release them all at the same time. And then after that, I will, um, I'll probably put out one video a month alternating between my reactions and then my normal content. I'll just end up being about one video every two weeks. Um, eventually I'm going to do blind reactions, uh, meaning I have not seen that video before I record. Um, but a lot of these first videos are going to be things I have already seen before, um, just so I can get a lot of stuff out. So this video I'm going to be recording now is Any Way You Want It, um, Journey Acapella cover by Voiceplay. So Voiceplay, I have, this will be the first Voiceplay video I do, um, but I have rec recorded a spot, a reaction to a Jeff Castellucci video. Um, Jeff, Co Jeff Castellucci is the bass singer in voice play, um, and this is the group that he does most of his performance with. He does a lot of the arranging, and this particular arrangement he has done as well. Um, he is a very good arranger. I do enjoy his arrangements. Um, but this is actually one of the older videos of theirs. This came out in 2019. Um, I had not started watching voice play in 2019 yet. I think I started 2021, either either 2020 or 2021, one of those two years. Um, so I don't know if I've seen this one before. I mean, I, I obviously know any way you want it. I played that in marching band. <laughs> I do know that song, but I do not know if I have seen this cover by them. But yeah, so this is a new video. I don't think I've seen this before. I might have. We'll see once it gets started. Um, but I am excited. I do like this song. And I always like voice play. They're very good arranger. They're very good uh, performers. And I do like the way they arrange stuff. Um, and just, just to be clear, this is going to be a reaction and analysis. I will watch video, I will pause, um, I will comment, I will watch, I will pause again, I'll rewind, comment, pause, I'll do that throughout the whole video. Um, if you don't like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you can watch the original, and you should watch the original anyways. Um, whenever you are watching a reaction, you should always make sure you've watched the original artist's work as well. Um, reaction videos should not be replacing you watching the original artist's artists work. Um, I will comment, uh, well you can comment, but I will uh, link in the description the video um, so you can watch it and then come back and watch me talk about it. Um, so uh, so I'll, when I do stop I'll be talking about primarily arrangement choices. Um, I will also talk about uh, performance techniques occasionally. I'll also talk about the music itself um, like from a compositional technique I'll I'll talk about that sometimes. And then also if there's a cool uh, shot or something, I'll probably comment on that as well. Um, all right, I think that's everything. Let's go ahead and get started with Any Way You Want It, a uh, voice play cover. Right. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. All right, so they have Jay Nunn, they have Earl. Um, those are some of the older members of the group who are not with the group anymore. Um, so I think the original lineup was uh, this guy here is Lane, this guy is Jay Nunn. Um, let's go back this way some. All right, we'll go this way some. Um, this here is Jeff Castellucci. Uh, he's the one I mentioned before. This here is Earl. Um, going this way, this this is uh, Eli. No, Ellie, Ellie. Ellie is how he, how he pronounces it. So he pronounces his name Ellie. Um, so Ellie, Lane and Jeff are the three of the original members who are still in the group. Um, originally, initially, there's also a guy named Tony. And then Earl joined them relatively early, but was not part of like the initial group. They actually, the other three uh, were friends in high school. <laughs> um, but so Earl is one of the oldest members. Jay Nunn is an older member as well. Uh, he replaced Tony, who I mentioned earlier. Yeah, so Jay Nunn replaced Tony. And then Earl left and Janan left. Um, Janan still does occasional collabs with them. I think he joined the army or something like that. Um, Earl, I think he just wanted time with his family. Um, so they've technically only replaced one of them. So there's the typical lineup now is going to be Lane on percussion, vo vocal per percussion. Jeff Castellucci is going to be on bass. Ellie is typically a high tenor, um, but he will do baritone. He actually can sing bass as well. 
and Cesar De La Rosa is baritone tenor in the modern in the current lineup. Um, they will often bring in a fifth artist to join them. Um, they've had a lot of different fifth artists. Yeah. So let's <laughs> go back to actually watching the video. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. She loves to Jeff laugh. Very low she loves to sing. So I'm pretty sure that's actually pretty close to the original. Um, actually, I don't think I've, or if I have heard the original song by Journey, it was like once. Um, I'm most familiar with marching band arrangements of it, um, or covers like this. <laughs> um, but I think in the original, it is uh, actually totally a cappella like that, and then comes in with the instruments. They have kept that choice um, in this arrangement, which is a perfectly acceptable choice to make. Um, it just changes since it's totally a cappella instead of bringing in instruments later. Um, that's a very uh, typical acapella ranch you could hear the bass really clearly you had the three upper parts um very clear parts um i don't think there was per per vocal percussion at the beginning there might have been a little bit um and then it came in with a the original song which go listen to it is a cool song by journey um back to this any way you want it that's the way you need it so jeff is on his bass it's not particularly low but it's solid bass line Lots of reverb on there. That's the way you need it, any way you want it. Ooh, Jeff bringing that low bass. Yeah. So, yeah, so there was no uh, vocal percussion at the very beginning. Lane came in right before um, Ellie started the lead vocal that, if you know this song, you know this lead vocal. Ooh, she loves to laugh, she loves to sing, she does everything. Earl's got a great voice as well on um, that really high um, tenor. He's got a good voice. Um, I like that uh, how tight Jeff and Lane are um, because if you hear Jeff is doing that total, it's a ridiculous bass line. Um, it, it sounds like an electric bass. I mean, he's singing it, which is very impressive that he has that much uh, control over his voice, that he is able to get that. Uh, change those notes as clean as he does and then Lane sounds like he swallowed a, ba a, a drum kit <laughs> that's a common thing you'll hear um, but, uh, for really good uh, percussion uh, vocal percussionists <laughs> they swallowed a, a drum kit but he, he sounds like he swallowed a drum kit it just sounds like there's a, a nice drum kit going along very cool and they're so close together um, very impressive that they're able to do that especially since they're on opposite sides of the group and of course uh, in songs like this the video is not what you're hearing. I would be very surprised if this video that we're watching right now is the, the take that ended up matching sound-wise. Um, usually what's going to happen in this type of video is you're going to have um, all five individually will sing do their parts in the studio. They'll record that a bunch of times, send it off to a mixer who mix it all together. And then probably what happened is once they have that final mix, they'll put it into the sound stage with them. And then they will either probably actually singing, but lip sync to that, they're probably still singing because um, it just is more impressive. Um, it it looks more believable if you're actually singing to a lip sync. Um, if you're just moving the mouth, it doesn't really look like you're doing it. So I'm sure they are actually singing as they're recording the video, um, but the sound you're hearing is probably not the sound from this visual take. Um, but still, that they are able to get that such precision. Um, I, I do a lot of editing of, of my own sound. Um, and if you listen pretty carefully, you can hear that, oh, this guy I had to judge, nudge over a quarter second, this someone I had to, is actually a copy from a different spot, um, that they were able to get that precise of an initial recording. So they were able to get this clear of a final take. Um, it's quite impressive. That's the way you need I was alone. Ooh, I never knew Ooh, what the 
your love could do ah. Then we touched, then we sang about the love Little halftime feeling there. That's a good position to take. You can see Earl doing that really high stuff. So Lane, like I said, he just sounds like he swallowed a drum kit. Um, uh, this particular drum kit sounds more like an EDM drum kit than a uh, typical garage band drum set you're going to hear. Um, this is, again, not a knock at all. It sounds really cool. Um, and you could, and Jeff's just with his, uh, he, he took the lead for a little bit and went in that little halftime section, um, sang it down in his octave. Um, but, and then there was also like the dump, da da dump, da da dump. The percussion sound that was happening from Lane and then Jeff's uh, bass line matching in with that really cool uh, combination of sounds. You could hear Earl on his high lead. I mean, he's got a very distinctive voice. Um, so he always sounds great. He's got that very distinctive voice when he's singing up in that higher range. Um, you could see him or hear him doing, it was almost a desk cant. It was still the melody, but it was a little bit different. Um, and uh, Ellie and Jaynan looking to like, you sound so great. <laughs> um, yeah, so much to talk about. Not really sure what to say. Interesting transition here. Um, I'm not very good at vocal progression, but that sound sounded like a kick drum on the floor. Um, boom, boom, boom. It sounded exactly like that from Wayne's voice. And then Jeff on his bass line is just, at, where, where's the electric bass? That's exactly what it sounds like. You want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it, want it. Any way you want it, that's the way you... And then there he just, he was, he was singing way down here in the medium low, jumped up here for... That one measure jump back down. Um, that much vocal control is amazing. <laughs> Interesting choice there. Um, so if you know anything about video uh, sound editing, you can make an echo sound like that uh, purely through the electronics. But they actually, um, these two actually sang the echo as an echo instead of just relying totally on the... Um, editing software to make that happen. Uh, cool choice. And that, that's a um, cool little transition. I'm pretty sure there's no transitions like that in the original as well. Interesting there. Um, you can look at the the mouths. Um, Jay Nun, he's really good at uh, riffs. So he did a riff, but he also sang a different part. Um, that's another way you can tell that it was um, a studio recording, not the live recording, because he does the riff, but his mouth is not doing a riff. He does they so like like he sang one version, he sang a different version. They put both of them in the final mix. Um, I'm not, I'm not meaning to sound judgmental, judgmental. That is a perfectly valid way to make music. That means it's hard to do live, but you don't always have to have live music. There are studio recordings, um, studio performers that just never do live performances. That is totally acceptable way to do music. Um, but I'll go back and see if we can point that out a little bit. That's the way you need it, any way you want it, want it. A little too far. It's okay. It's good. That's the way you need it, any way you want it, want They're about to do that. So there they did those uh, echoes that you could see their mouths did the echoes even though you could hear it. Um, so it was both, it was probably them singing it, but that exact sound can be repeated um, through an electronic um, media. That's a, oh, oh, oh. Um, so Jay and I, you can hear him doing those riffs. 
Um, he's he's the most clear voice at that point in the recording. Um, the others are doing they sound great. Um, but you could hear his riffs there, so you can hear that voice later. It continues it, but he's visually singing a different part. That's the way you need. I did not expect. Yeah, I have not seen this video before. Um, I wasn't sure if I had one. I definitely am not. I would have remembered that low bass drop there. Um, uh, and this is an older video. He can definitely sing that note less breathing, breathing now. Um, but uh, Jeff had that really low bass in there. Um, I did not notice the thing I mentioned before with Jay Nunn. Um, I mean, it's definitely still very cool music. And I forgot what I was going to say. I was so distracted by Jeff's uh, bass drop. Oh yeah, so um, this whole section, um, I haven't heard the original enough to know for certain, but this is either an instrumental that they have decided to make all oohs and ahs, or a uh, interlude that is not in the original. Um, both are totally valid ways of doing this, um, and it still sounds great, so it, I, I like it. <laughs> The way these three voices, the middle three guys, the way they're interacting sounds so great. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it, any way you want it. And yeah, so there you can actually hear the um, post-production echo that I was referring to earlier. So at this point, they actually did that post-production echo earlier in the song. Um, Jay Nunn and um, Ellie chose to actually sing that echo. But you could tell this one was definitely post-production. Drop out everything. It's cool. That was a cool little section. So you had a J Nun doing that solo lead with uh, Jeff singing a bass line. Um, Ellie came in um, with a harmony and about halfway through that Jeff switched from a bass line to a um, harmony line just in the bass range. And then Earl came in, added a desk camp melody over the original. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Whoa, whoa. And they're using little segments from different verses and stuff, all working together in this in section. Very cool choice. Any way you want it, that's the way you and the, yeah, so these are some rhythms that are not in the original as well. Um, there was a triplet earlier, um, and these are short rhythms that are not in the original either. Yeah, really cool. I've definitely not seen that before. I wasn't sure going in whether I had or not because I've heard so much voice play and I've heard this song in other groups. So I wasn't sure I've seen that video or not. I definitely have not seen that video. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, there's a whole lot of cool uh, techniques they chose to use in there um, to go more of an EDM feel than the original. The original was an 80s uh, glam rock. Not quite glam rock, but 80s. I, it was 80s contemporary music. It was very definitely an 80s song, and you can hear that just listening to it. They decided to go in more an EDM feel. So a very cool choice to go with that EDM feel. Um, and then lots of cool arrangement techniques throughout as well. So that middle section where we had uh, Jay Nunn and then Ellie added and then Earl added, that was cool. Earlier we had a lot of, of really cool bass lines that sounded like an electric bass. Um, Lane always in his amazing vocal percussion, all that stuff. Really cool arrangement. I enjoyed that immensely. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed that as well. 
Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting or meaningful in some way. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And, well, and subscribe. <laughs> it really does help smaller creators like myself reach a wider audience. Um, if you have any suggestions for future reactions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Um, just a heads up, I have already... Uh, I, I watch a lot of Jeff Castellucci. I watch a lot of voice play. Um, there's very few videos by either of those artists that I have not seen before. Same with Pentatonix. I've watched a lot of them. Um, I watched a little bit of Home, uh, Home Free, not quite as much as the others, so I could end up doing those. Um, but it doesn't have to be acapella. It can be just about any music you want me to react to. I will go ahead and try. Um, I really do enjoy talking about music, and I would love to do this type of thing um, if you all enjoy that at some point in the future. And I can react to things that I have already seen. I'm just focused a lot more on the analysis side than on the um, taking it in <laughs> side of the equation. Um, but yeah, if that's what you want to see, I'm open to doing things I've already recorded, uh, I've already watched, that's fine. Um, I'm open to any suggestions you have. Um, thanks, and, uh, thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.